What up guys, Highlife128 here, uh, bringing you a very special review. Uh, decided to dig deep uh, into my closet, pick out one of my favorite shoes that I have. Um, you know, one of the rarest, most valuable, well maybe not necessarily rare, but uh, definitely one of the best shoes I got. Uh, this came out at the end of the year last year. Uh, a lot of people were able to get it, a lot of people weren't, some people got it on the restock. Uh, either way, these shoes are still going for four to five hundred dollars on uh, on flight clubs. It's definitely definitely a big cop. A pair of Jordans, regular uh, new school Jordan box, size tens. Air Jordan 11 retro, black varsity red, and white. As you can see, the price on the box is, uh, there we go, 185 <clears throat> You open this box, you get the little cover here. It's got the Roman numeral 11, it says, Tinker made them shine, Mike made them fly. You made them iconic. So these come with all the 11s, uh, at least these and the um, cool grades that I saw. Normal Jordan uh, paper, nothing special there. You couldn't tell before. They are the red. 11s. They smell good. This is a hot shoe. It's, they smell like a hot shoe. This, to this day, is the only shoe I have ever gotten off of a Twitter RSVP from uh, Nike Town Boston, which is um, <clears throat> about a half hour away from me. So I've tried and failed so many times. It's the only one I've ever gotten. I was very lucky to get this. This is, as most would say, the, the most iconic Jordan sh uh, sneaker. Maybe not this colorway, but certainly the silhouette. I mean, people die over this shoe. So uh, I'm really glad to have a pair. Probably never going to wear it, to be honest with you. It's just, it's just a very, uh, just an iconic shoe. So, we'll start with the bottom. It has a red icy sole. Black patches. And a black jump man behind the uh, ice there. It's also got carbon fiber shank that runs along the bottom. Just makes for a real cool look. Um, obviously not top quality carbon fiber. It actually um, may not even be real carbon fiber, but uh, definitely looks cool. <laughs> um, so the the red kind of peaks up the midsole, uh, coming into the white, which is an interesting um, interesting kind of texture on the white. So if you can see the kind of checkered texture, real clean. Uh, and what makes the shoe crazy is when you get into the upper, when you get that crazy black patent leather wrapping all the way around the shoe. When you pass that patent leather, you have um, just a regular um, cloth material. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that would be called. Uh, it's got stripes going up to the uh, the lace eyelids, all in black. And over here, where the uh, the red jumpman is, and wrap it around the back. To so the side, you have. Um, leather, some kind of synthetic leather, it looks nice. Um, and then on the back, the white 23, real soft, uh, soft material that the, is a sock liner, hooks around the back. Tongue is that same cloth material with a red Jumpman logo and um, 
says Jumpman Jordan in white black rope laces tongue on it pretty standard for a Jordan just um, normal material uh, the back of the tongue does say quality products inspired by the greatest player ever and the red jump man is pretty cool and on the inside uh, you have that material I was talking about, the wraps around the back, um, as well as a black insole and a red jump man. And these ones also came with the uh, the uh, red shoe trees. I have a jump man logo on them. I wish all the Jordans came with these because these are sweet. Um, it's definitely definitely a nice touch and. Uh, and considering they charged an extra 25 bucks, you got this thing, the red shoe trees, and uh, a dope shoe. But uh, I mean, 185. I'm, I'm never gonna complain about paying retail for uh, for this shoe. As I said, they're going for 450, 500 in some places, even though there was a restock. So um, I'm definitely just jacked to have the shoe and. Uh, pumped for later in the year. There's a couple, um, or maybe just one, uh, pair of 11s that are coming out. I think there's two. Laney's and uh, Gamma Blue, at least it's rumored. So, um, always going to be a crazy release. I mean, even the, even the low top 11s, the white and black uh, joints that came out about a month ago, I slept on those literally. Woke up at like 10, went to the store, boom, sold out. I mean, uh, I didn't expect those things to sell out in a week, let alone a day. I mean, and no matter what the 11s are, low top, high top, no matter what they are, 11s always sell out. So if you get a chance, always get these if you can get them for retail. Um, definitely, definitely top. So, here's the shoe. Hope you enjoy this special review. One of my favorite shoes in my collection. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.